Divine timing is anytime you're a vibrational match to what you want. It's not only divine timing, it's not only perfect timing, it's perfect matching with wherever you are. So it's a little of this, 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 a little of this. And you know what? All of that adds up to a really good feeling life experience. It just keeps unfolding and unfolding and unfolding. Because a lot of people live this desert this big gap of what they want and what they're allowing and then something happens and they get distracted from the agony that they usually are oozing and then they close the gap and they say oh wow but it doesn't last because it was sort of a fluke they met a happy person who influenced their good behavior for a little while you see got to be consistent in your expectation if a tree falls in the forest and there's no one there with ears to translate the vibration into sound did the tree really fall yes it's just that nobody heard it <laughs> because no one was there to receive the sound of the vibration there are all kinds of things that are happening that you're not matching up with so you wouldn't call it good timing because you got to be there to match up it's that when you are moving in the direction of wanted that's what satisfaction is and clarity is closing that gap you've asked for it and now the reason that we're putting it to you like this is because doesn't clarity feel good doesn't clarity feel good not here yet but doesn't clarity feel good so there's vibration and as that vibration happens more then there is a translator of the vibra oh, say it again say it better there is a receiving of the vibration oh do you know that nothing is created until there is a perceiver that perceives the vibration there's no creation until someone perceives the vibration so you're looking around and saying not there not there not there not there not there because the vibration is over here this is what you want to start perceiving and how do you perceive what's in the vortex can't see it can't hear it can't smell it can't taste it can't touch it so what do you do to perceive it you feel it it feels like love it feels like clarity it feels like fun so you perceive it you perceive it you perceive it you perceive it by focusing and feeling for it and then what you want to call divide timing happens it's just the natural evolution it's what comes next first there's vibration then there's thought the more you think a thought the more you believe it the more you believe it the more you demonstrate it through manifestation when you think a thought often enough when you feel an emotion often enough then there is a vibration that becomes expectation so can you just imagine for a moment what the power of positive expectation is when you really get hold when you really get hold of the understanding that you're good and that you're deserving and that you're supposed to get what you want and that life is supposed to feel good and if it doesn't there's some recalibrating that you want to do rewiring that you want to do yeah so there's a whole lot of conversation going on about what's missing in my life well keep talking about that and it can't ever come in it can't come in what's missing in my mate what's missing in the government what's missing in life what's missing on the planet as long as that's what your belief and your expectation is there can't be enough divine timing and enough divine looking and enough divine loving because source energy doesn't have the power to tend to your vibration you're the creator you do that you do that there's free will for you you had the free will to live a shitty life <laughs> and you had the free will to complain about it and you had the free will to look around for better and that free will produced true asking that your inner being heard loud and clear focused on every moment since it happened adds every amendment to it that you add to it every relationship you had made this vortex relationship so much more magnificent so much more satisfying to you and your inner being focuses and focuses and focuses and focuses it's real 
it's real and it's there but you can't focus on its absence and have any timing at all you have to feel the presence of it you have to begin to feel like the most loved being on the planet the most deserving being on the planet so how do you feel deserving when something that you want you can't see because something that you want you can feel you can feel it you can feel your way to it so let's say that there are three or four subjects that are important to you and one of them is temporarily missing and a couple of other things are things that you really like to do so you've done the work and the cooperative components are being gathered and now you're off the subject that you always go negative on and you're on the subject of the things you like the fun you like the friends you like the madness and mayhem that you enjoy and as you deliberately focus there to make that happen no 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 not to make that happen in the moment that you try to make something happen you're trying to be the stage manager and you're trying to whip things into shape no you're not trying to make it happen you're letting it happen by focusing upon the things that are already happening you find the things in your life that are already a match to fun and you focus on them then more things that are a match to fun come into your experience you focus on the things that make you feel loved that are already in your life like the flight attendant that Esther doesn't even know his name Esther will never forget at him when he came by and asked her what she wanted she knew he really wanted her to have something that she wanted he was not faking it he so wanted her to feel good in that moment so when you feel good about one thing you feel good the universe is saying uh -uh -uh. she feels good about a flight attendant she doesn't even know but does she feel good about her lover that's not how it works she feels good Whoop! divine timing she feels good Whoop! divine timing that's how it works find any reason to feel good and all the things that you want start showing up in your experience but you didn't know that did you because you thought you had to struggle and justify and convince something that doesn't exist some arbitrator you've got divine timing your inner being and the law of attraction all mixed up with your mother <laughs> strings attached to everything and so the big question is how can I be pleased and you want to add to it how can I be pleased in unpleasant situation well mind control <laughs> A desire to feel good a desire to feel good that is so strong that it out does everything else I so want to feel good that I'm gonna feel good even though so much about you bothers me <laughs> now that's like a first step in that isn't it but a lot of people think that a terrible relationship is better than no relationship at all but it isn't it's all right to have sifted and sorted and know what you want but the terrible relationship just for most of you because most of you are observing more than you are tending to your vibration just observe the things that you are not appreciating and then you can't get to where you want to be from there to find a pleasing match you have to be pleased you can't find a pleasing match from a place of displeasure so how are you going to find how are you going to be a match to what you're looking for what is it that you're looking for rather than talking about the things talk about what it feels like what does it feel like to be inside that satisfaction why does anybody ever feel satisfied what is the definition of satisfaction we'll tell you it's moving in the direction of desire in fact that's the only place that satisfaction comes from having lived life and ask for something and now to allow yourself to be a cooperative component to what you've asked for that's what satisfaction is so what satisfying happy so conjure it fill it in a little more they can't just be words that are either empty or words that mean the opposite of what you're feeling you know when most people talk about love when they really want some when they really don't feel love but they really want love well you can't get there from there that's looking for love in all the wrong places we've been saying that for a long time but it's not looking for love in all the wrong places it's looking for love from the wrong point of attraction It's looking for love without it 
when you're never without it you're never without it Esther's in love with the flight attendant <laughs> and with the people who talk to him and with Michelle and with the girl who sat next to her that's how you fill that in you see what we're getting at and so the black the feeling of I don't have it is the feeling which is your point of attraction and then you double down and I've been trying I've been meditating I've been doing all the right things but I don't have it I'm not getting it I don't see it coming and we say what are you gonna do about that you, you got to get off that you can't get to where you want to be from there your desire is strong it's in your vortex good we don't mean anything we're not trying to make a big point of the and yet and yet <laughs> it feels to you like you need to identify the problem uh, you need to explain it a little more fully really explain it fully because to have this desire you know something's off that you haven't yet gotten what you want you know something's off with that so you're trying to explain it so that somebody can tell you what you're doing wrong and it isn't about doing something wrong it's about not doing the only thing that lets it in and what lets it in always feels good so you know that any conversation you're having any focus that you're giving that makes you feel lonely or disappointed or impatient is on the wrong track so whenever that happens don't do that change the subject somehow because most of you we love you so much but hear this and feel this most of you think that when you're feeling angst about something that that's when you're focused upon your desire because that's what focusing on your desire feels like to most of you it feels like angst and then it feels normal so then when you meditate and you do those things that makes the angst go away you're finally allowing it most people think that they have to struggle and strain there's no pain without gain is what humans tell one another and that's a big flawed premise there's no gain with pain the pain put a lot of gain over there you're just not gonna get any of it until you stop focusing on the pain and humans want to say I would focus on the pain if you'd give me some gain and we say you can't get the gain you don't get off the pain and you say that's jacked up <laughs> but it is consistent most people don't get how it works most people think that there's someone that holds the pie and that if you plead a needy enough case that some arbitrator that is splitting the pie up with some sort of rationale will give you the slice of pie that you need but it law of attraction matches things the absence of something wanted matches the absence of something wanted matches the absence of something wanted you've got to find the presence of something wanted and make it really active in your vibration on a regular basis and then boom an airplane full of nice people you know what it's like to be in a situation you don't like and you automatically launch this rocket desire the upheaval of what you don't want put what you do want in great clarity in the vortex isn't it understood in other words if someone is mean to you and you feel broken and you're crying isn't it understood by any reasonable person what it is you want kindness and love and harmony and matching and more and more and more and so it's over there and your inner beings all over it and the law of attraction is too what are you gonna do now 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 to match that instead of the absence of it your habit is to worry about it and to discuss it with other people you can't get to where you want to be by trying to rub out its opposite rubbing out its opposite just holds you over there with its opposite yeah